The ETAS is focused primarily on assessment, with three of the four units that make up the skill set being concerned with planning assessment, assessing competence, and validating assessment. The fourth unit provides training in work skill instruction. The skill set is designed for trainers and assessors who deliver non accredited training or work with other trainers delivering nationally accredited training. All four units can contribute towards the achievement of a certificate four in training and assessment. The delivery unit focuses on instruction and demonstration, how to organise your training, how to conduct the instruction and demonstration itself, how to check for training performance, and also how to review your personal performance to ensure you employ strategies for your own professional improvement. The assessment unit TAE ASS 401 requires that you determine an assessment approach for your candidates, prepare an assessment plan, then identify any modifications or what they call contextualization when undertaking the assessment. Finally, it addresses how to develop basic assessment instruments. These are the tools you require to gather the evidence from your candidate. Assessment Unit TAE ASS 402 considers the skills required to deliver an effective assessment. These include preparing for the assessment, how to gather quality evidence, how to support your candidate during the assessment, and how to make an effective assessment decision. Finally, it covers how to record and report the assessment decision in accordance with your normal operational requirements, and how to review the assessment process itself. The final assessment unit, TAE ASS 403, is all about validation. Validation is a process of checking an assessment process itself to ensure that it is valid, reliable, can be used in a number of situations, and is fair for all participants. There are strict rules around conducting validation, and these are addressed in the program, as well as conducting a minimum of three validations on the assessment instruments that you created during the program itself. So in a nutshell, that's the ETAS. I hope you enjoy undertaking this qualification. It's a great step towards becoming a valuable trainer or assessor in your organization.